Life in Pre-Union UAE. The United Arab Emirates has a very long history. Recent discoveries on the eastern side of the Hajar Mountains and in western Abu Dhabi provide the earliest evidence of humans in the Emirates to over 100,000 years ago. Life was a lot quieter then. However, the pearling industry thrived in the calm Arabian Gulf seas during the 19th and early 20th centuries, providing both income and employment to small communities that lived there. The all-men crews on the Dow boats would be away at sea for four months and ten days. Pearl divers started their challenging career at the age of just nine, when they had to pry open oyster shells with knives to get to the pearl. From the age of 12 onwards, they began to dive and carried on diving until they reached the age of 50. The first 10 days of the new pearling season were incredibly hard for divers, as there would be terrible side effects, nausea and seasickness, all attributed to the body trying to get used to the diving routine. Divers would be under the water for an exhausting 14 hours, starting before sunrise and finishing after sunset. Many of the inhabitants were semi-nomadic, meaning they didn't live in one fixed place, but moved with the seasons. Most would dive for pearls in the summer months and then travel inland to tend to their date gardens during the winter. They lived in small, simple houses constructed out of palm trees. There would be just one room inside, shared by the whole family. When the nomadic people were inland, they would live in easy to carry and assemble Bedouin tents. Travelling was not as easy as it is today, and journeys into the desert would take a long time. Camels carried the homes, the furniture, all the possessions, while the families often walked alongside in the camel's shade. With vast, wide open deserts to navigate and sand dunes that shifted with each strong wind, finding their way was a perilous feat and small mistakes could have devastating consequences for the whole family. Therefore, the Bedouin community became expert navigators, using the skies and even the smallest landmarks to find their way to wells and farms set miles into the desert. The UAE's long tradition of falconry originated in these early days. Hunting in the wide open desert was hard, and so the tribal sheikhs caught wild falcons to hunt for them from the air. Once caught, the men had just three weeks to train the falcon before their prey arrived. They built very close bonds with their birds and took great care of them. The First World War had a very bad impact on the pearl fishery, as the British, who had been supporting the district to ensure the nearby trading routes were secure, withdrew their backing in order to focus more on their war efforts. Many local people starved without sufficient food, but it was the economic depression of the late 1920s and early 1930s that damaged it fully, and the industry eventually faded away just after the Second World War. Fortunately, oil and the visionary leadership of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nayyan were on the horizon. As Sheikh Zayed grew to manhood, he travelled widely throughout the country, gaining a deep understanding of the land and of its people. In the early 1930s, when oil company teams arrived to undertake preliminary geological surveys, he obtained his first exposure to the industry that was to make possible the development of today. The first cargo of crude oil was exported from Abu Dhabi in 1962. At the beginning of 1968, when the British announced their intention of withdrawing from the Arabian Gulf by the end of 1971, Sheikh Zayed acted rapidly to initiate moves towards establishing closer ties between the Emirates. Along with Sheikh Rashid, who was to become Vice President and later Prime Minister of the newly formed state, Sheikh Zayed took the lead in calling for the federation that would include not only the seven Emirates that together made up the Trucial state, but also Qatar and Bahrain. Following a period of negotiation, 
Agreement was reached between the rulers of six of the Emirates, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Fujairah, Umm al Qawaim, and Ajman, and the federation to be known as the United Arab Emirates, the UAE was formally established on the 2nd of December 1971 with Sheikh Zayed as its president. The 7th Emirate, Ras al Khaimah, formally acceded to the new federation on the 10th of February 1972. Sheikh Zayed was re-elected as president at five-year intervals until his death 33 years later in November 2004.